this collection captures outpourings of the imagination of one of the most extraordinary figures in post-war global culture. It also encapsulates something of a moment in time. I first met John in late 62, and the Beatles were at the peak of the early part of their career. And one day, this man came into my office, and he had some pieces of paper, and there were drawings and verses in handwritten. And I read them, and I started laughing. And then I said, who did these? And he said, well, John Lennon. John regarded these pieces as a kind of private joke that he was doing for fun. It occurred to him that they might be suitable for publication. I presented the book as a work of art, in a way. I was not publishing this book because it was by a Beatle, and therefore it would sell. But well, finally, he kind of succumbed. We published on a Thursday. Following Monday, I came into my office. I saw 20 booksellers outside our warehouse queuing for more books. And it just boomed. And we sold about 600,000 copies in a fairly short period. It was very, very well received, beyond my wildest dreams. Jonathan Cape was very grand about parties in that year. We invited John. And he was totally and wonderfully at ease. John Lennon was actually a trained artist. He attended the Liverpool College of Art. He knew what he was doing as far as illustration art is concerned. The line progresses, the humour comes out. Some of these drawings illustrate the stories within the books, but others, a political statement, or they may just be wry humour, or they may be something that Lennon just enjoyed doing. The first drawing in the sale is known as uh, A Boy With Six Birds. In 1995, when the Beatles released Free As A Bird, they used this as the front cover art for the single. It really was putting the, the print of Lennon onto this posthumous work. A number of the pieces are written on hotel-headed stationery. He would suddenly think of an idea and scribble it down. He would only write by hand when there was no typewriter present. He liked composing on typewriter. And there are a number of pieces here where you can see him really composing, writing very, very rough, Typescripts. I really loved his drawings. As a result of that, he gave them to me. He gave me the whole lot. He said, you take the stuff. And I put it in a drawer. If we take them out, perhaps we can have the whole thing re-evaluated. I thought that would be a thank you to John for having given me all the stuff. And this will revive the memory of John. And that's exactly what it's doing. 